everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to share a journal I've just completed for Calico Collage. This is an exclusive kit um, that's only available if you subscribe to Linda uh, Israel's subscription box. So um, I'll get started going through it. I'll put the link below. Um, if you're interested in this, then you can follow that and find it. Um, I've created two signatures. It's a six by eight and a half with um, 84 pages front and back for writing. So it's a really chunky uh, journal, as you can see. And on the front, um, I've created this with using a file folder, but I've done so much to it. I've uh, reinforced it with fabric between the layers. And then I've also come back over it with the images that's been printed out on cardstock. So, so it's very, very sturdy. I think there's got to be about five layers going on. And then I've done lots of varied um, laces. This is a crocheted little doily. Um, and then I fussy cut this image out and then backed it with some dimensional tape. And then it's got some Wink of Stella. I doubt that that's going to show up on the camera. but And then here I've doubled it up as well on the, the trim. Now on the back, this is the spine. Um, on the back here I've created another pocket and then just included this really big journaling card. Or you could use it as like a photo mat. So that's tucked in there as well. Yeah, it started out, um, you know, it's just a simple file folder, and then it just evolved. Uh, so it ended up taking me quite a while to do this cover, but I'm really pleased with how it's come out because it's really sturdy. Um, here on the front, I've done, um, this is one of the t uh, journaling cards from the kit. I've backed that onto another um, tag that I've cut out from just some of my scrapbook paper. And you, I've just got various stamped images throughout from my own um, stamp collection. And then here I've just backed all this. So you've got a double pocket on that front. Um, this is one of the journal pages. They're, they're beautiful. It's, um, it's a really, really gorgeous kit. And <clears throat> it prints out so pretty. Um, I've backed the pages with this lined... Um, it's a background paper that's included in the kit, so you've got a lot of writing space. And then, like I said, I've done so many um, of my own hand-stamped tags in this. Um, and this is one of the pockets. Um, love that. I've done stamping on all of the, um, now this is all parchment paper. The writing, the plain um, paper I've included is all parchment and then I've just punched all the edges on it and I've done some distressing and then like I said I've stamped all of them as well. This is another of the journal pages. I've done a little tab up here, a lot of stitching in this journal. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed working with this. Um, and this is another of the image. And then just back that. Now this is another double pocket I've created here. So, um, and another little stamped image. This is just a little collaging I've done. I'll try to give you guys. I've noticed I'm going too quick in my video, so I do apologize for that. I'll try to slow down uh, so you can see things a bit better. Here is a altered um, guest check. Um, this is inspired from this eclectic uh, Stash Busters. I love following those ladies. Um, they are so talented and I've never really known what to do with these. Um, so they've just really inspired me to try to um, alter these a bit more. So I'm really happy with how that's come out. This is little tag and then a die cut and I've layered it and then this really dainty doily that um, I got. That it had a hole in it when I purchased it um, but you guys know as junk journalists that's the stuff we love because we don't have to feel guilty about taking it apart. 
here is just some, it's like a velvet trim. I've stitched that along that edge. And here I've just created a little flip up so you can do secret writing. And then also you could put a photo up here if you wanted. More of that. Uh, it's a beautiful weight parchment. Uh, my papers, I've started printing my papers out on uh, 100 GSM lately because um, I was finding I was having some problems with the tea dyeing with the 80 weight, so I've switched over, so um, they're really nice uh, papers, nice weight for journaling on. Doily, uh, here I've created a nice big pocket, so you can put some things in there. Another writing page here. Um, this is a very old book page, and I've, I think I've got about three or four layers. I've stitched that up. Inside, I've created a, another little pocket here that's all been sewn. And then just various uh, stamped images from my stamp collection. Another little vintage girl printed, and then just some collaging with some vintage button and hand crocheted uh, flower again. Little tab there. Um, this is another of the pages from the kit. It's lovely. It's got a script in the background and then some really faint roses and then some lace. It's it's beautiful. If you like pink, this is um, this is the kit for you. Um, this is a center I've created with um, it's embossed, so you've got a really nice texture there. And then inside, I just created a couple of little tuck spots. Done a lot of stamping. Um, this is a kit, uh, a stamp set I just recently picked up at my stationery shop here. It's an old Prima. I think it's an old Prima stamp set, but I got got those. And this is from the same uh, stamp kit, so those were a lot of fun to. Uh, play around with. I love that journal card. It's so pretty. Um, here, uh, this is another of the tags that comes in the kit. And then this is just another one of my stamps. I'm trying to, um, to use my stamps a bit more because uh, I do enjoy stamping. It's just been a while since I've been able to get them all out and use them. Um, uh, here I've created a really nice belly band. Um, this is some very vintage um, trim I picked up in the flea market and I've just layered that over so it's a really nice thick layer. And then this is a little tag I created. I thought that went nicely with it. This is that cover page I used to, or the page I used to create the cover for this journal because I love those birds. Here I've made a little tuck spot and then this is just an old receipt that I've turned into a floating pocket. So that's tucked in there. You can put that anywhere in the journal. Um, here I've done, this is some French lace I've recently purchased from a shop here in the UK and it is so dainty. It's lovely lace. And then this is a stamped image on some muslin. And this is one of the journal um, tags that you get. So I collaged all of that. I just created a little flower with a brad in it. And here's another little floating pocket that you could you could glue down if you wanted to in the journal and one of the journaling cards. Some tracing paper. Here is a vellum pocket with lots of collaging. This is some some more um, lace I purchased. I don't think that one was French, but uh, it was from the same company. And then this is just a little stamped tag, and this is these are in the kit. These little um, tickets, they're gorgeous. So I've just tucked that in there. Made a little tuck spot here with one of the fussy cut. You get a nice sheet of um, fussy cut flowers with the kit as well. And then here is just another little um, tuck spot and then a journal card. 
And this is a glassing pocket that I've done um, some decoupage um, doily, paper doily, then old, old vintage um, music sheet, and then I've distressed one of the journal cards and then just tied it all up and then this is one of those textured it's like a wallpaper sample and I've created some tags out of that see how I'm doing on time um, oh here I really am pleased with how this come out these are all separate elements from the kit and I've just stitched them up collaged them so that you've got a tuck spot here and then a really big little pocket back there and then this is just a little altered um, I took a time sh uh, card and then just ran it through my I've got one of these tiny uh, Rolodex card dies and then I did you know some muslin and then some old uh, doily and then here this is some more of this um, lace I love this it is so dainty and it's got little hearts on it this is a, a French lace and I love that. Here's a nice uh, thick belly band, and I've layered that up as well. Um, and this is one of the little envelopes from the kit. Love that. That's so sweet. And then she's included two little journal cards that fit this um, pocket. So I got those tucked in there. And then this page, um, just another double pocket with uh, one of the journaling cards from the kit. And then this is just some um, cardstock that I've done some embossing on. And then added some little trim to that. So. Some more tracing paper. This page is that beautiful. Yeah, it's been a real pleasure working on, on this journal. Um, the images are so pretty in this. Uh, here I've done a... Um, this is a double music sheet pocket. You'll see the other half on the other side. And what I've done, because it's, you know, it is a little bit frail, so I've reinforced this um, pay, uh, the little flap. And then, so you've got a place here, and then I've also um, glued another pocket. That's it's just a single here, and I've put some little old uh, receipts and advertisements that I've printed off from the internet. Uh, this is some Prima paper. I thought it went really nice with this, and so in in this little pocket, I've just tucked a couple of little things. I printed off the online and then I've got a little one of those little butterflies on there and then this page this just another little pocket I've made another couple of handmade tags and then this is one of the tags from the kit and then these little butterflies she uh, Norella includes those so I fussy cut those and put some uh, eyelash trim behind and just collaged them there in the corner. I do love this lined paper for uh, doing your journaling. It's beautiful. This is another beautiful page from the kit. It's a really big kit, so um, there's a lot you can do with this one. Here I've done uh, a little fabric pocket and then I've collaged one of the images that's included and then I put some little trim behind and then came back with this uh, really dark pink uh, trim and then I've just included anything that I thought you know kind of went along with it this is one of those old it's like a replica um, postcard it's Vivian Lee That's another of the journaling tags. And then this little stamped Tim Holtz ticket. Here I've done another bit of collaging down there with some more eyelash trim. 
And this is what I'm talking about with the um, fussy cut flowers. She includes just a whole page of them. So these are gorgeous. And I did some stitching along that. So you've got some writing space on the back of that. That's another of the journal tags that's included. Here is a, another little pocket. Um, and then this is one of the Regency Fold um, papers. So you've got some extra writing place there. And this is one of my altered uh, tea bags. I really love how this has come out. Now this is some more, I told you that company I purchased this French lace from. This is another one I got. Isn't it gorgeous? It is so dainty. And then I've stitched that on so that's very secure. Sewn all the way around this with some muslin on the back. So this could be, um, you've got the pocket from the tea bag, and if you want to glue that in your journal, just go along as close to the edge as you can, and you'll end up with a double pocket. But I've just pinned it in here, um, and then you can do as you want with it. I do enjoy working with those tea bags. Um, here I've just got a little couple little tuck spots and this is another stamped uh, Rolodex card or file folder. Oh I don't know what they are. <laughs> and then this I've just this is some scrap um, tea dyed paper. I've just cut that out on into a tag and that's another one of the little tiny tags that comes with it. I love this page. The grid on the back, that's beautiful. Well, I just love the whole kit, I'll be honest. I was I've really enjoyed it. Um, this is a double pocket. Um, just kind of did a patchwork of some leftover papers that I'd had, um, and then I just tucked a big tag in there, and this is from the kit, so that's been added, and then on the back. I've got a vintage, this is a true vintage uh, cigarette card, and this is just another little handmade tag, so that's included. Just uh, more writing space here, and then this is the back of that um, music sheet pocket, so you've got another nice big, you just have to be a little bit careful because it is old paper and it's kind of frail so just be careful when you add things to it. Um, but here <coughs> I've put some um, scrapbook paper, I've stamped on some muslin fabric, stitched all that down and then came back with a one another. This is one of the other little cutouts you get. I've cut that out and then here I've added some of this um, tape measure uh, ribbon. And then on the back, I've, I've added another double pocket for you. So there's a lot of places to tuck things in here. And here a fussy cut. Look at that nice, big, beautiful image. And then I just altered a, um, I altered an alteration tag. And I've done it, you know, my tutorial on how to do these dimensional tags. If you uh, are curious about that, it's... I did a, a tutorial on that, so you can look back in my uh, videos and find that. And we're nearing the end. Um, this is another of the pockets that comes in the kit, and then just some various um, journaling cards. But this is interesting. I re recently purchased these, and I am mad over these. It's a whole book on these... Uh, floral postcards, but aren't they gorgeous? So of course, and the peony is one of my favorites, so, so I had to include that in here. And then this is the back of the journal. I just stamped just a note, and in this little pocket I've just put one of the journaling cards, so did a fussy cut here. And then there again, there's the back of the journal. So it's it's a big journal. Like I said, there's 84 pages in here. So if you're interested in this journal, it will be in my Etsy shop. Um, 
so I'll put the link below for that. And as I said, I will I will link um, the kit, uh, the subscription box link for Linda's um, because you can only get this kit if you subscribe to that box. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great weekend, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye.